Big Trouble with Simple Machines by Nathan Schreiber. Chapter 3 Natural Born Lever Pullers. Take the wedges, they'll come in handy later. <laughs> Our wedges! Oopsie, I got kitty litter on your shiny thing. Bye-bye for meow. Forget the diamonds. We gotta follow that kitty. Good call, Carlos. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. Let's figure out what In time play. Piece of cake. Carlos, wait! Oops. <laughs> You've probably guessed, but that wasn't an inclined plane. Since it didn't reach the other side, it's a lever. Buddy, you gotta be more careful. Yeah, I can be pretty stupid when I'm hungry. Class one lever. A lever has four parts. The first is the arm. The second is the fulcrum. The arm rotates around. The third is the load, something the arm lifts. And fourth, on the other end, an applied force. Class one lever. Force on one end, fulcrum in middle, load on other end. Problem was, there wasn't any force to hold you up. You were right there! Why didn't you step on the other end? Carlos weighs six times as much as I do. Genetically modified humans have much denser body mass than ordinary humans. He'd still fall, and I'd go flying. But if we move the fulcrum, we get different results. If I'm six times farther away from the fulcrum than Carlos, we balance out, even though he weighs six times as much as me. It's a special case of mechanical advantage called leverage. If we have more distance, we need less force. Now what? We have to move this block up to the ledge to hold the plank down. Then we could all walk across. It's not moving. I think it's stuck on something. Got any ideas, Brainiac? Class two lever, lever, lever. If we wedge the plank under the block as far as we can, the fulcrum will be at the end. The load will push down on the plank, and we can lift on the other end to pry it off. Class two levers. Fulcrum on one end. Load in the middle. Force on other end. Since we wedged the plank under the block, is it a lever or a wedge? It's both. Something that combines more than one simple machine is a compound machine. Nice, May. There's a chain attached to the bottom. And there's a metal bar. We could use it as a fulcrum. We can attach the chain to that hook up there. Plus three lever, lever, lever. Then we lift the block by pulling up the bar. Class three levers. Fulcrum on one end, force in middle, load on other end. The chain isn't long enough. What if we put the metal rod in one of those holes? Then we use it as a fulcrum and lift the block up. But which hole do we use? I say the closest one to the block. Then we have the most distance between the force and the fulcrum. With simple machines, we can use less force over longer distance. That's mechanical advantage. Okay, Carlos. Oh yeah, I'm great. Hey, Fermi. Carlos and I need food if we're going to be pushing these stupid blocks all day, or protecting your sprained ankle from a security mech ambush. We can handle a mech. What if it's more than one? We'll cross that bridge when we get there. 